coffee is, is way more than just a drink. In Turkey particularly, in Ukraine as well. And I think when the war started in Ukraine, uh, coffee became even more important uh, for everyone because coffee is part of a normal life. Normal life has been taken away from us, but coffee stays with us. With us, people, regular people and with soldiers as well. I will talk about Ukrainian soldiers and I'll talk about uh, Turkish Bayraktars. Most of them are very good in keeping uh, Ukraine uh, independent. As the, uh, uh, this picture you can see uh, Cheswa uh, and coffee. We sent ground coffee uh, to the soldiers. And here you can see Bayraktar. Bayraktar in Ukraine is very popular uh, for many, in many uh, parts of life. Uh, the original Bayraktars are helping us to, 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 to fight and to protect our land. But now the songs are called Baraktars, there are songs about Baraktars. There are uh, dogs and cats, and occasionally even kids, are named Baraktars. So Baraktar is becoming a legendary in Ukraine. But when the first uh, 50 Jesuits were sent to soldiers, actually the name stuck. They started, they also started to call these uh, coffee Baraktars. Uh, now we will go back to the original Baraktars. I'm going to show you pictures of uh, people you all know, I'm sure. Uh, this is a story about coffee, about friendship, about um, um, the resistance. And, and we are extremely grateful to our partners. And Turkey became a very important strategic point for Ukraine. Um, and these pictures you see um, Haluk Bey and Sanchuk Bey, the, the people who run Barakdars. Uh, they are presented uh, a Ukrainian national dress, we call it Vishivanka, it's very important for us, it's more than just uh, a clothing, it's, it's our uh, DNA. So all this um, is very important to us. And here we have uh, Bayraktar's picture, you can see it here. Um, and they, they were the first people who received this special edition Vishivanka. Um, and even more, Bayraktars now have the same um, symbols. So I think we created a military chessboard basically. It's big, it serves three people. Uh, it's a single piece copper, uh, very thick. Uh, the handle is made of uh, heat treated carbon steel. Uh, this uh, Ukrainian uh, trident, our coat of arms, and uh, cut by, by laser. So I think we created pretty much undestructible chessboard. So soldiers can enjoy uh, Turkish coffee on a friend line. Uh, they are making coffee using any heat, heat surface. Uh, gas burner, charcoal, uh, open fire, but it, it's literally any any heat surface is good to make coffee with this uh, with this chest uh, This is the coffee we supply. Uh, one of the pictures from the films. Um, and I have this um, impression that when, when after the victory, we will have thousands uh, of new coffee connoisseurs. So soldiers uh, learned this, this culture of, of making coffee, making a good quality coffee anywhere. I'm sure you all know that coffee is very important for people, not only as a source of pleasure, but a source of um, sharpness for, for, the, for the mind. I think most of us drink coffee um, to enjoy, but also to, to wake up, to, to sharpen your mind, to, to prepare for something important, be it exams or three hours drive. Uh, so coffee helps us to be at our best. We think better, we feel more, and uh, any army historically relied on coffee um, to perform. So right now, Ukrainian army performs better, um, there is a tiny part of our input. Uh, thousands of soldiers know our coffee. And this is something I wanted to share with you that Turkish coffee, the culture of, of drinking coffee, of brewing coffee using Jesuit, is not only popular at home in Ukraine. It is now uh, on, on the Ukrainian front line helping us to uh, protect our country. Once Ukraine wins this war, we will stop 
producing them, they'll be just like a collectible items. But I think the, the, the message I wanted to share is uh, coffee helps the Ukrainian army, but uh, to help to, to help these projects, we wanted um, the friendship, the relationship between countries, the relationship between uh, people are very uh, uh, is very important. Let's share the story um, to understand um, that it is important to support Ukraine. I think Ukraine fights now not only our own war. We I think we, we literally protect the world because this is a defining moment in our, in our history and this is the biggest threat since the Second World War to the stability in the world. And we need every help we can get. Uh, hopefully, coffee help, help us a little bit. Uh, the friendship and, 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 and relationship with other countries will help us uh, enormously. We, we will win this war, there will be peace again. And we can all enjoy coffee.